Oh, hello everyone. I'm in the garden. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, now, I was only going to do one with you today, but I've actually, I've just done one, but I kindly donated it to my husband because, um, well, I didn't drink it at all. I enjoyed it. But then I, I, I remembered that we also had this and I just thought this would be perfect outside on a day like today. It's the St. Petersburg from Thornbridge. Um, and I really thought, do you know, I've reviewed the wrong one. So I'm gonna do this one. So I've donated the other beer to himself to do this, which is St. Petersburg and 7.7 .7 ABV. Just turn this around. And there's the Thornbridge cap. Now I'm not going to pour all this out because we've only got the one bottle and I think the rag wants some of this too. Got the Thornbridge glass. Mm, can you guys see? Should I come nice and close? Why not? So, here it is then. I've probably got the wrong glass here. Oh my god. Look at the size of that. I'm getting my fair share as well. Okay, now this has happened because it's the wrong glass, but as it was a Thornbridge glass, I wanted to use it. Um, now I've left enough in there for the rag, so I'm gonna reseal this if I can. Yeah, not bad. Leave that there. Now, this is really dark, as you would expect from a stout. Um, a nice, really tan kind of cappuccino head. Um, hints of like coffee in there. Yep, yeah, and roasted coffee smells good. Smells really good. Now, do excuse me. Shouldn't really do this, and this is my fault. <laughs> With my hands, why not? Right then. Ah, a lady. So there we go. I'm going to give this a taste now. I'm really looking forward to it. my fair share of stouts lately and I am pretty sure that that has ever so slight ever so slightly I think that's smoked it's yeah I would say that's been smoked been smoked I would say it's a smoked stout It's actually really hard to get past that flavour. To it's very bitter as well. Um, it's kind of slightly hoppy. It's definitely got that kind of smoked feeling, flavour, and very, very bitter. Now, I do like stouts, but I like the stouts with the roasted malts and the coffee kind of tones. Now, I smelt that, but I don't, I can't really taste it. To be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed I had such high expectations, but the bitterness level is just, I'm not one for, for bitter, I just really don't like it. 
It's got a good mouth feel on it as well. It doesn't leave your mouth feeling dirty or anything. Um, it's nice and smooth. But it's just, it's just not for me, unfortunately. Do you know, I feel really bad because I've stolen this from the Real Ale Guide. Okay, so it's Imperial Russian Stout 7.7. I'm going to read a bit from the back to see if I can get any kind of, um, anything off there. So, um, here it is. St. Petersburg is a fabulous, warming, full-bodied stout with subtle peat smokiness and chocolate malt flavours. Yeah, I thought so. I definitely thought so. Um, if you don't, if I don't taste any for a little while, your, your mouth kind of warms to it. And just beyond the smoky flavour, you can get kind of that bready, dark notes coming through. But to me, as I'm so unused to any smoked beer, I'm just getting smoked from when I drink it, which I think you have to almost kind of grow to that kind of point. Um, this, this would only be the second smoked beer I've had and last time I had it was only with a collab with the Real Ale guy en uh, Guide anyway so I didn't have much of it so I've probably yeah I feel really bad stolen this off the Real Ale Guide and it's just a little bit too smoky for me I'm really disappointed. And myself, it's not, it's, it's definitely an opinion. It's more, it's just not for me, is it? You might love this beer. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. Unfortunately, I, I can't drink that. It's nothing to do with the beer. It's my own personal preference. The mouthfeel and everything else about it is lovely, but it's just not for me. So thank you all for joining me. See you all again soon. Cheers.